welcome back to another episode of Restaurant Remake. And today I am actually going to be doing the Chinese roast crispy pork belly. So, for those who are Chinese or Cantonese, you know what is siu yo. And I am actually going to be making this at home. Now normally you would buy the crispy pork from a supermarket where they actually had a big roast roaster and they will actually roast the whole pig and you will want to get the nicest part which is where you where you see the ribs and the pork belly part so I am actually going to reattempt to do that and if you for those viewers who don't know what is the crispy pork I will show you the picture below here if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe and like our show and we will be producing and uploading our video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So without further ado, let's get started. So how am I going to prepare the crispy pork belly here today? So first of all, you wanted to get a pork belly. The pork belly weighs it's approximately 4.15 ounce, right? So 4 pounds and 15 ounce. So we're going to, first of all, I'm going to actually cut the back of the bone a little bit. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit easier for me when I actually cut this out at the end. So you see where the bone is at, I am actually going to make some incision. Here. And actually, actually the next step is gonna, we're gonna tenderize the skin here. So we're gonna use a meat tenderizer with the sharp pointy stuff. And this is what makes it the uh, pork skin really crispy once you bake it, okay? And it creates those uh, smaller bubble when it, when it, uh, when the skin kind of pop when we were gonna do the roasting part. So this device is definitely useful to do the Chinese crispy pork. Okay. We're gonna poke hose onto the skin. And in this case, you can really enjoy some fun here. You really do need to pound this a little bit in order to get it into the skin because the skin is actually pretty stiff. Okay? So you and think about who you are really angry with and you just really stab it, okay? So there are a portion of the skin where it's really tough. This is where it's pretty tough. And you just want to keep on pounding this. And you want to try to be as even as possible here, okay? So, you know, kickboxing is actually a great workout, but actually, you know, using the meat tenderizer here to poke the skin out of the pork is also a good workout. Okay, always concerned with, at the end, the skin is not that going to be crispy. All right, so you wanna have this and make this, make sure you do this evenly. So then you really get the nice bubble out of those skin. So after beating the hell out of this skin, I think I'm good. So the next step is actually we're going to put this pork belly back in the fridge. But before I do that, okay, so we're going to season it with the five spice. So you want to rub that in. So the incision that you actually made in terms of the cut, you want to make sure you season that part as well. Now for the seasoning, you don't want to season it to the top, okay? We're not going to season the top of the skin, okay? There's a reason why for that. We're only seasoning the side and on the bottom where the meat part, okay? So I would say approximately a table to, you know, a tablespoon of the seasoning to a tablespoon and a half. I'm just gonna rub that in to the side as well. Okay, I don't need too much. Uh, the five spices actually uh, will give enough um, salt in there. Okay, so there's salt in there. You don't wanna overdo the five seasoning spice because it will be too salty. 
So that you don't want to do. Okay, so that's pretty good. All right, so after seasoning. So there's a secret trick in terms of making the pork skin extra crispy when you bake it. And I'm actually gonna use a paper towel and put it on top. So I have white vinegar here and I'm gonna pour some on top of the paper towel. And you wanna make sure the paper towel is going to be completely wet. So this is gonna be what makes the pork skin to be extra crispy. So that's one of the trick beside the poking the holes on the skin, pork skin. So we're gonna make sure that our paper towel is gonna be completely wet. So then, you know, the purpose of putting the paper towel on top of it, so then you can really forces the white vinegar to absorb into the skin. So now we're gonna put this into the fridge for two hours. After two hours, we're gonna bring it back out and then it's ready for baking and roasting our pork belly. Okay, so welcome back after two hours later from the fridge. We are going to now layer this uh, with salt. All right, so I'm gonna layer this with salt. So let's do it right now. And I am just using the Himalayan pink salt here. And we're just gonna layer it with this thin layer of salt on top of the skin. All right, so don't worry about having the salt all over the place here. I'm just gonna go in And the reason why we want to put the salt on right now is to actually, when there's going to be the moisture when it's cooking, it's going to absorb the moisture. And later on, we're actually going to uh, wipe down or remove the salt later, and then we're finally going to do the skin. So the first round, we're really cooking the meat. And the second round, we're going to make sure that the skin is going to be crispy, right? So, all right, so this should be good with my layer of salt here on top of it. So right now I'm going to put it in the oven. Okay, so in it goes for 350 degrees, convention bake for an hour and a half. So see you later in an hour and a half and we'll come back and check. Okay, so this is one hour into the baking and once I crack this, I can actually remove the salts here and we can toss it into the trash because I want to expose the skin now. So I no longer need the salt. So you can see the skin and we are going to remove this piece and you want to remove all the, basically all the pieces here. Okay, so the rest of them I'm just going to scrape it down and this is where we expose the skin. Okay, so this is, now we're going to put it back into the oven. And what I'm going to do here is now that we still have approximately 30 minutes to go. So now I'm going to actually change the oven to where instead of convention bake, I am going to change it to convention roasting and we're going to bump up the heat to 475. So this is approximately another, this is going to be 30 minutes left. 
Okay, so let's check on the crispy roast pork. This is after an hour, over an hour and 30 minutes. So I did have to put it in a little slightly longer so then the skin is crispy. And take a look at this amazing skin right here. Now, there is a lot of smoke when you do convention roasting. So I did open the windows throughout the house so then somehow the smoke can actually go away. But uh, it's well worth it. Look at this skin. And then we're gonna now let it cool off. And we're gonna cut into it. Okay, so now that we have let the crispy roast pork rest for 15 to 20 minutes, you can hear the sound of the skin. It's really crispy. I'm actually gonna remove the bone before I cut this up. So I'm gonna turn this upside down. And remember the incision that I made earlier? That will help me guide through where to locate the bones. So I am, I can literally just take the bone apart. Just using my hand here, remove the bones. Okay, occasionally I am gonna use my knife to help here to cut the meat. Taking the bones apart. It really just falls off. Okay. So it's not gonna take me too much effort here. But at the same time, I want to make sure all the meat is going to remain as one piece here. So I just really want to get the bones off. This up here. And if you cut it faster, so then it cuts through the skin right away. Okay, so this is my version of the crispy pork and this is a another success for the restaurant remake. The sauce is on the side that accompany with this dish usually is the hoisin sauce and the mustard. Okay, so as the chef of this dish, I guess I get the right to eat my very first piece and I just want to demonstrate how crunchy the skin it is. I'm going to dip it with my hoisin sauce. It's like heaven on earth. Let me eat the skin again. You can hear the crunch. Super crispy! It's another success! If you like our video, please give me a thumbs up and smash that like button so then I have over a hundred likes and subscribe to our channels. Thanks for watching guys.